Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Sales for Hunt. This is Rohit and today I'm going to show you how to use this Altair GraphQL client software or tool for the GraphQL query in Salesforce. So if you are new in this channel, so please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end if you want to learn something new about this tool and this is very reliable, faster and useful tool inside our Salesforce environment. So let's get it started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to go to this website that is called Alter GraphQL Client, right? And if you are using like uh, online version of this tool, so you can use directly here or otherwise you can download from uh, in this link that is called get alt here for the Mac, Mac OS, Linux, Windows, Chrome as a extension or is or web as well. So based on your requirement you can choose it but right now I'm using this window version so I already downloaded this software or tools for the GraphQL client queries in Salesforce right. So how to use this tool inside our Salesforce environment. So first of all you have to do one thing and you have to learn GraphQL little bit inside this tool right so let me explain to you what is graphql what is graphql so graphql is a query language for your api so you can build powerful apis using this graphql and gives the client power to ask server what is exactly needed so it's a very reliable faster and useful for the developing the apis right so this is the one definition about this GraphQL query and you can make it this query based on your need or you can build with the REST API uh, for the marketing cloud or you know like any kind of you know APIs for this integration right so now GraphQL query it's easy and it's a like a JSON structure key right and uh, why GraphQL so it's improved the developer experience day by day and is strongly type improved developer experience control over the data fetching right so you can fetch your data based on your need and also more performance for building cross platform mobile apps so basically use for the mobile app apis and you can build this graphql query inside salesforce environment so how graphql query work so first of all you have to create your query inside your client environments and then GraphQL services is responsible to take this type of request based on your schema resolver and GraphQL runtime and it's automatic send your request into the server and server always give your response based on your request right so this kind of you know process that is called graphql query work right so here let me show you the some example about this graphql query and you will be get to know more about it so first of all you have to go to your tool and here you can see this alter tool you can download it from that particular website i already told you based on your OS you can download it based on your browser you can use it or web version also you can use it right so I'm using desktop version so here you can see this desktop version and before that you have to set up this set header right so before executing and before adding your URL in this tool so first of all you have to add this authorization bearing and with your access token along with your access token right so once you added this kind of thing just you have to click on this save button and then make it your request as a pause because I need to get some data from you know Salesforce uh, into this tool so we can use this kind of URL this is the base URL from here to here it can be anything in your case but in my case I'm using my org URL here to here and after that you can see the services slash data and API version and after that you have to give this GraphQL right so this is the proper URL of this GraphQL query if you want to execute or run 
GraphQL query inside this tool, Altair, right? So how to write the query inside this Altair tool? So it's easy. First of all, you have to write like query. So query is the keyword to find out the which object you want to query inside this tool. So right now you can see my query and query accounts, right? After that, you have to give these brackets and inside this bracket, you have to use UI API and this UI API, under this UI API, we have to write our query and under this query, you have to mention which object you want to perform the action. So I already use here, you can see like account, right? Under this account, you have to give ages. So this kind of you know parameter you have to pass inside this GraphQL query and then node under this node you have to mention which column you want to perform and which you know like column you want to show the data. So I'm using like account name here that's why you can see my node as a name and then you can give the value like this. Once you write your GraphQL query just you have to do one thing just click on this send request and you will be see some output here so how to do that just click on this send request and after some time you can see my output inside my result tab so here you can see like name and value and this is the value you can see my account records coming from the Salesforce inside this tool that is called Altia right and here you can see the uh, records here right and one more thing if you want to get like more accounts or you can yeah, I mean you see you can see here let's say order by ascending and descending right but here you can see this is the mismatch data it can be anything anytime right so how to maintain this order ascending and descending just you have to pass after your account name or object name just use this bracket under this bracket you have to use like order by so order by then you have to give this colon and you have to use like name I need name as a order by descending right so let's say order you have to use like order right like order and then ASC so ASC means ascending right so please observe right now you can see the first record as a S here and after that N E B something like that so once I will execute this query you will be get to know the ascending order of these all accounts so how to do that just click on this send request and immediately you can see my records as a ascending order here you can see like Burlington uh, this D is right G something like that you can see the ascending order right if you need like descending just change this ASC to DSC and now you, you will be get your record as a descending order you can see like U and then as something like that right so you can use like order by this one ascending and descending inside your GraphQL query and also if you have like uh, more columns so you can use after that let's say I need rating or let's say industry based on your requirement you can use it so for now I'm using like rating so under this rating we have to use like value and once you add your column you will be see the you know like rating values so just click on this you know send request and here you can see the rating uh, here you can see the rating right so based on your need you can use it right also let's say I need uh, another column that is called here uh, I need uh, industry so you can see immediately all the pick list values right inside here so how to do that just you have to use industry and then value and click on this send request and now immediately you can see each and every let's say this records let's say University of this Arizona and having rating worms industry education so you can see each and every thing inside my GraphQL query using this Altair tool and also if you have like related contacts regarding this account object you can 
fetch it based on your API keys so here you can see the contacts under this contacts I need like edges first and under this edges I need like no node under this node I need like name so here you can see the name and under this name I need value so you can see like this so it's a related uh, like contacts under this account so just you have to click on the send request immediately you can see like account records here and contacts regarding this contacts is related to this account right like this one so here you can see each and everything's here right so based on your need you can use it this is a very faster and you can check your this GraphQL query results inside this tool so I hope you learn something new in this video if you like this video and please subscribe my YouTube channel and please turn on the bell icon so you never be miss any kind of updates from my side and I hopefully you will be get to know and you got some idea about this tool that is called Altier in Salesforce using this GraphQL query right so till then guys bye bye take care thank you for watching